Hello, I am in Honolulu. I started a seven day trip. Actually, I uh, started a seven day trip two days ago. Um, I had to start it in Dallas because uh, February is my reoccurring training month. So I had my reoccurring training yesterday and I am still here working. So obviously I passed all my tests and I am recertified to be a flight attendant for one more year. And then uh, my trip continues. So I'm here in Honolulu because um, we're gonna work Honolulu to Guam and then Guam back to Honolulu. And um, we have, we just got in, we commercialed on American Airlines from Dallas to Honolulu. And then we have today off, we have tomorrow off. And then the next day we fly out uh, or we work to Guam. Um, but today I'm just gonna chill and then I'm gonna meet up with one of my friends for dinner. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna meet up with one of my other friends sometime during the day. And yeah, so pretty cool seven day trip, nice and easy. And then when I come back from Guam, um, I lay over here, I think for another night and then I get sent home because I go on my off days again. Well, actually before this, I was on my off days. I took, I had 11 days off and I took the whole 11 days cause I just wanted to, you know, relax and um, study cause I needed to study for my recurrent training and um, you know, sometimes you just need to take your whole block of days off just to, you know, reset. And um, they they were asking for volunteers because we were busy at one point last week. But I was like, mm, no, I think I'm just going to keep my whole block of 11 days off so that I can study for training and, you know, just relax and reset. Oh, and also while I was in Dallas, I ran into... Uh, one of my crewmates who I haven't worked before, uh, but she watches my vlog. So hi Marina, if you're watching this one, it was nice meeting you and hopefully you get to work on a flight one day. I already took a bite, but got some somi somi and Got some matcha green tea, and inside my fish, I got taro, like taro filling. I don't know how to open it. But there's taro in there, I don't know if you can see it. But okay, let me tackle this. Good morning guys, good morning. It is about 8.15 a.m. and I woke up today probably about 5, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. because you know my body clock is on like Dallas time or mainland time so yeah I got up early but I just laid in bed until maybe about 7.30 and then I ran downstairs to get something to eat from the restaurant so I just got me an acai bowl because um, they're so good here and fresh. Um, I'll show you which one I got. So this one they call the Mauna Loa bowl and it has the acai on the bottom. There's I think peanut butter, bananas you can see, chocolate chips, granola, chia pudding, and I guess some berries. But yeah, and then the acai is um, underneath. So I'm just gonna have that for breakfast and then um, I made coffee in the room. I was gonna get coffee downstairs cause they got some good fresh, um, lattes and things like that but i'm like yeah let me save a little bit of money and um just make coffee in the room but yesterday just went to dinner with one of my friends uh, we went to this japanese restaurant called teishoku and i got the miso salmon and gyoza and i think she and then she got the no i got the miso butterfish and then she got the salmon uh, and then after dinner we went to get some dessert at Somi Somi and I never had that one before or that dessert before I've always seen it so that's with um, soft serve ice cream and then um, it's like a waffle in the shape of a fish and then you can get the fish um, filled with a filling if you want so I got it filled with um, taro 
and then I got matcha green um, ice cream, like the soft serve. And then you could also get like toppings, but I didn't want to get toppings because that will be a little bit too much. Um, so just did that and then just came back to the room. Um, today, I think I'm going to go out with one of my crewmates uh, who's also from Hawaii. So she has um, a brother that lives here. So um, I might go out with them, um, just, you know, go around town and shop and eat. That's all you do here when you come to Hawaii is eat because there's so much good food. Uh, so much good food places everywhere um yeah so i might do that and then later on i'm gonna meet up with one of my other friends and we'll probably do dinner and yeah you know eat some more <laughs> but hey guys it is about 5 15 p.m um since i talked to you guys last i actually fell asleep and i woke up at about maybe 2 30 p.m so i basically slept the day away but it was a really nice nap um so i didn't go out and get any lunch so i'm starving but one of my friends is coming to pick me up and we're gonna go have some dinner. And then um, she's just gonna bring me right back to the hotel. So um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then tomorrow, so our flight down to Guam got pushed back like two times. So it was supposed to be like a 6 a.m. departure. Then it went to a 9.30 a.m. departure. Then it went to a 12.30 p.m. departure. And now it's like a 11 p.m. departure. So I have all day tomorrow um, to hang out here. And then, yeah, we won't leave until 11 p.m. Well, that's the schedule so far. But that's the latest. Uh, we'll see if that sticks. If not, I will let you guys know of any more changes. Did you want my myopia? You can have myopia. You don't want myopia? Not really. Not if I'm going to eat something sweet later. I know there's lots of choices. Yes, it is that time. It is that time. It is the next day uh, slash evening. Um, I did nothing today. I was the laziest bum. I just hung around the hotel room. Well, I did go out this morning with one of my crewmates. We just ran over to 7-Eleven to get food. But other than that, I just stayed in my hotel room all day. Um, tried to get some sleep, like take a nap at maybe around 3 p.m., but could not sleep. So I did not sleep at all today. Um, that neighbor over there, the doors are really heavy. So every time he would leave, he would let his door slam and it would vibrate the whole wall and headboard. So that kept waking me up or actually keeping me up. And then the hotel was testing the intercom system up there and they were like testing one two test test one two i'm like yes yes i can hear you but yeah so that was going on i'm like so i did not get any sleep did not get any sleep but surprisingly i'm not tired i think i'm just anxious to get this flight done like start working because i've just been hanging around the hotel room this past two and a half days well I did you did see me go out and eat um dinner and stuff like that with some of my friends but just been you know hanging out here for two and a half days but just want to get to work get these flights over so i can head back home um and i'll be back here on saturday so um i can go out and buy stuff and whatever i want to buy to take back to vegas so so yeah so that's how today went um but it's about 8 30 fan time is 9 15 p.m we have a crew of nine we're on the triple seven and it says we're only going to have about like 60 to 70 passengers so um that's good because we can just knock out first service and then take our breaks hopefully i can get on the first break so i can get some sleep i'm like second from the bottom though in signori so we'll see how that goes um and then flight time is blocked at eight hours and once again we're doing honolulu to guam and then we have short layover in Guam. So I'll just probably get to Guam, go to sleep, and then get up and go to work. 
Um, but hey, anywho, I'm pretty much packed up, so I'm just going to head downstairs in a little bit and um, get this day started. So I will probably see you guys when we are in Guam. Aloha. Hello guys, hello guys. Made it here to Guam. Um, I'm looking a little greasy and oily because it's always so humid here, but it's about 5.15 a.m. We landed here at 3.30 a.m. Um, immigration took a little while, so we have to wait for them to, I guess, start work. So we just waited a little bit um, for them so that we can get processed. Um, but here at the hotel now, and the flight was actually quick. It was six hours, 57 minutes, but we went from 70 something passengers to actually 338 passengers. Yeah, it was a lot, but um, it was smooth because it was such a late flight. We, as usual, fed our passengers and everybody went to sleep. And our breaks was like an hour, 20 minute break. And you know, I didn't get to take a nap today. So um, I totally knocked out on my break, but it was so such a short break that I was still groggy when I woke up. So I am actually super tired right now, but it is almost breakfast time and I'm hungry. So um, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna take a shower now and then um, go to breakfast at 6.30 a.m. And then we have a short rest here. Van time is gonna be at 5.30 p.m. And then we head back to Honolulu. But yeah, and then oh, I don't know what's up with that light. It's dimmer than that one. See, big difference. But you know why? It's probably too early. It's probably just like I ain't want to work right now because it's so early. But <laughs> I just noticed that it's dimmer than the other one. But okay, let me get freshened up and then I will go and get some breakfast. OMG, you guys. It did it again. This bathroom, I swear, is out to get me. Remember when I was here a few weeks ago and my bathroom experience? Well, so I remembered that I better take a shower neatly so that water is not spraying all over the place and rolling outside the tub. Well, that still happened anyways. But this time, look, let me explain. So the water pressure here is so strong, which I love. You know, you want a strong, uh, your hotel room to have strong water pressure. But it's so strong that when this thing is shooting out, like the head... The shower head moves on its own and it starts rotating upward so like i have to hurry up and lather myself or hurry up and lather my hair because this thing starts slowly creeping up moving up and then it ends up like all the way up here and then like water's all shooting all over there and see i don't know if you can tell but the towel's all wet because the water was rolling down the side so yeah so i've come to the conclusion that this bathroom is evil and it's just out to get me I don't know why, I didn't do nothing to it. But anywho, I'm nice and clean and it's only about 5.30 right now or almost six o'clock. So um, I'm just gonna hang out. Hopefully I don't fall asleep until 6.30 for breakfast time. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost slept through breakfast, almost. I wasn't supposed to fall asleep. I was gonna stay up till breakfast opens like at 6.30 a.m. But I ended up waking up at like 9 a.m. And I was making the hard, hard decision. Do I want to just sleep some more and forget about breakfast? Or do I want to drag myself, get myself up and go to breakfast? But of course, food always wins. So I just came back from breakfast. It's about 9.45 a.m. right now. And I'm probably going to head back to bed. Uh, van time. Did I tell you it's van time? Van time is going to be at 5.30 p.m. So I'll probably get up um, a couple hours before that and see if I'm hungry. Hungry, always eating. Um, maybe I'll go order some food um, before it's time to head out. But let me show you my view. It's a little windy outside, but it's sunny. And um, yeah. Yes, so I am going to head back to bed and oh, um, I figured out the light. I forgot that the light, um, there's dimmers, dimmer switch. It was just on low or, you know, low dim. <laughs> okay, good night. Good morning. Good night. Hello, peoples. It is about 3.45 p.m. Oh, 
accident in my eye. It's about 3.45 p.m. and I just woke up because I heard my alert on my phone for schedule changes. So now our flight departure time has been pushed back to 9 p.m. Originally it was 7.30 p.m. But now it's 9 p.m. So that means van time will probably be at 7 p.m. So we'll see if um, departure time will is going to stay at that or if it's going to change. And I will let you guys know. But I will definitely probably need to get some dinner before we leave. So I'm going to go see what I want to order. And then, um, yeah, I'll have that for dinner before we head out. And the weather today, as in Guam fashion, has been sunny, then rainy, then sunny, then rainy, then sunny and rainy. So right now it's kind of, I think it just rained because it's all kind of gray and overcast. The window is like really dirty and like condensation because the humidity. But yeah, it's all gray now, but it'll probably be sunny in a few minutes. So it's about 5 p.m. right now and I just came back from picking up my food. I went and got a chicken club sandwich and some french fries. And so I'm just going to eat this and then our uh, van time was updated to 7 p.m. So I'll probably just lounge around until it's time to get ready to go to work. But this is my food. Looks yummy. So let me get this in my tummy and then I will see you guys later. Okay, people, it is time to head to work. It is 6.30 p.m. Once again, van time is 7 p.m. Flight departure is at 9 p.m. And we should get into Honolulu at about, I think, 8.35 a.m. now. Um, flight is blocked at 7 hours and passenger count was at 276. So hopefully it'll be around that number or less, which would be really nice. But okay, let's head back to Honolulu. Aloha.